thanks for coming in. I mean, that's that's what we're here for to let the public air their uh, concerns about the economy and about the creation of jobs. And uh, I sit on another committee, a finance committee, which is investigating the NAMA service scandal. But you're actually dealing with a part that we haven't really looked at at all. You're dealing with, I suppose, the, the, the smaller fish in the mm -hmm. pool because some of the people who have, we have spoken to owed uh, NAMA 500 million euro, for example, which is a lot more than some of your clients. But I, but I have received some phone calls, especially since our investigation started, from people, some of them farmers, you mentioned that previously, that uh, stretched themselves too far, uh, perhaps get carried away. And uh, I do a lot of work with, with the banks, and I'm happy to declare that interest, Chair. But the banks encourage this. Uh, sometimes farmers were told by the, uh, the banks, look, no problem. We're going to plan for of that fee, borrow a million pounds against it or whatever. And, and some people did build, build houses or, uh, and got into trouble. Um, what uh, it seems to me is that when, uh, and, and it is a concern, I think, that, that the Ulster Bank let these, these uh, loans go to service because I would have thought that any of the banks would have been better guardians of, of these loans than, than service. Uh, but the person I spoke to said that really uh, no information, uh, no uh, real guidance as to what service want. And these are, these are smaller, mm -hmm. I, if you wish, smaller people important people, um, that uh, meetings with, with service are yes, no meetings. You, you were very fortunate. You got a 15-minute meeting. I got a, I got a <laughs> six-minute meeting, I think. <laughs> I mean, um, and that you're really just w working in the dark. Um, exactly. And, and I, I wonder, I mean, I think Mr. Dunn's comment about the, uh, the finance ombudsman is very interesting. I think maybe, sure, we should, we should write on the back of this because I'm not sure the finance ombudsman's powers extend to uh, the, the Financial Conduct Authority as well, the FCA. Mm. I'm not sure how much those sort of authorities have uh, sway over the likes of service. But I suppose the, the, the uh, question I would ask you is, how do you close on these? Or do you think that what service is doing is they want your people to walk away because they see, having bought, let's say they bought an asset, and we're talking about smaller assets, mm -hmm. let's say they bought an asset which cost uh, a million pounds, someone mm -hmm. borrowed a million pounds for it. Um, they bought it for, for 200,000, say, which is 20%, which is which yep. about where we are. And they want uh, six, 700,000. Mm -hmm. um, they want to make a 500,000 pound profit. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe they think there's another client out there. <clears throat> maybe they're trying to break your people, as it were. Um, how, how do you close on these? I mean, because it seems to me you're, you're totally in the dark. At the end, at the end of the day, going back, we were speaking to one of your colleagues earlier when he was saying about mm. is there a rise in the asset values? There could be. Obviously, they've got to maximise their return. We appreciate that. And they've, but they won't. So some, some of the, and it might be slight them commercially here. Some of the decision process in the limited number of cases we have with them, we, we look at them and think, why did you do that? Why did you appoint a fixed charge receiver? Typically, the appointment of a fixed charge receiver is going to hit the value because it's going to be going to be marketed as a property in possession, mm -hmm. and we just can't work out the commerciality. But this, I think, is um, where there's whether there's whether it's a trust issue. We've never had trust issue with any banks or any institution. It's that transparency and saying, you know, being able to say, you, you know, if you put a fixed charge receiver in that, you're, you're crazy and you're going to lose your institute, your, your company, more money, and it's. They, they are they, obviously they're a very commercial organisation and very driven. Flip side of it is, they've got to give the client the opportunity to be to know what they're what they're, trying, what they're playing against. Okay. The client, the client, and we said we would say this because all our clients are great. No, all all our clients are involved in this and have gone through this five ten year process of struggle to where they are now. They're ready to they're ready to try and try and work this through. They've hung on. Many a man and a woman have, have thrown keys and headed to the bankruptcy courts because that's what that's there for. That's not a criticism, but a lot of these, the, the, these men and ladies are trying to battle through. But it's and there is going to be some finality here. But it's it's knowing what the what the, what the game what the rules are, if you like. Going back to what you said. Well, well let me ask that. Are there any rules? Sorry. Are there any rules for service? Mm -hmm. I think they are, but they won't, they're, they're holding it a bit close to their chest. <clears throat> and we, I mean. The question that comes to mind is, are you surprised at that? I mean, this, this, is, a, this is a vulture fund. This is a fund that, that prides itself on its cutthroat, rapacious uh, approach to people. I mean, it's really slice and burn. Were you 
Were you surprised? I, I, I asked, how they make money? They make money by selling to people. We're going to go in. We're going to bet. Well, absolutely. But as, time goes, on, as time goes on, as time goes on, we went into the initial meeting. So they, there was a bit of a lag when they bought the loans to get themselves set up, so they had capita ready to be their facilities management company. And I remember the day I was in the, with, a, with a client. I think it was the 24th of July. 28 days to get a proposal. We want to get out of this. Off you go. And everybody rushed to one corner of Donegal Square because there was only one bank at that time lending money. There was a poor bank manager under severe pressure there to knock out these letters of offer. Yep, we can do this, we can do this. Since that date, six months hence, no movement, which I think is strange. These guys, Cerberus, I'm sure, and all, all loan purchases are on a short time scale. Property is a slow thing to move around. You don't just quickly in and out. You're not, you're not selling a tin of beans here. And you would think there would be a bit more urgency on that side. What else is going on in the background, I don't know, and quite frankly, I'm not really interested. These are our clients who are suffering. Give them, the, give them the civility, if nothing else, of knowing where they stand. Because I say they've suffered. I, I, I don't make any apologies. I get really emotional about this. I'm by no stretch a communist, but I get really uh, concerned as to what people are going through. And if you don't know, that's the worst thing of anything. The unknown is a desperate thing. I think of tomorrow? I wouldn't, I wouldn't take a moral stance on it. They have a job to do. I think it's, I think it's wrong. I don't think it's helping their case, for sure. Immoral is easy, difficult. If anyone's, put, if anyone's put under unnecessary pressure to answer a question differently, it's immoral. Let me, let me talk to you about the figures. So Project Eagle was 5.7 billion euro, yep. uh, bought by NAMA. 2.2 billion NAMA paid for those loans at face value of 5.7 billion euro it was bought by a service for 1.24 billion and plus a million they threw, they threw in a million amazingly they knew the price to bid and put a million on it uh, so the taxpayer in the south having covered the the losses from the 5.7 billion down to 2.2 then lost another 783 so by any stretch of the imagination the service got uh, the bargain of all bargains so how much is enough because of course they're commercial and people have to respect that mm -hmm. But how much is enough? Because we go back to that example of the person who, a farmer who borrowed a million pound and was told by the bank, no problem, we'll get you a million pound, build two houses in that field, they're going to sell for a huge price, you're going to be okay, and everything turns against them. Service have bought that million for 200,000. <coughs> how much is enough? Because you seem to be saying that service, there is no enough, that in fact they might end up with more than a million pound as, as the market recovers. Uh, well, it for, could be, for, and, and, for, for a property they bought for 200000 on face value of a million. So much is enough for service. I can't answer that. Obviously, I'm not service. But it's, they, want, they want the return of their money. Well, so they need 200000 To get the return of their money, they need 200000 Absolutely. So well, they're, 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 they're there are people, the profit. people far more learned than me saying these guys work on uh, 24 months, 20% 20, 20 return on your money. So in terms of whatever they paid, it's, it's, as you're alluding to in those figures, there's, there's, there's enough room for them to work their way through it. And so, it, it, going, going back, I keep, I keep labouring the smaller guy. Okay? And we refer to that letter of pledge, and if nothing else, at some point, whenever you're speaking to Cerberus, did that, that, so that was for NAMA, obviously, and back to the, 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 the guys that are up in the, up in the upper, upper echelons of what they borrowed. Okay? But that seems to set the present of the way they're going to conduct themselves. Our clients are getting battered personally, not just the businesses, so losing the business is going to be bad enough. Then they're looking behind that at guarantees, then they're looking behind whatever other assets you may have. Now, if, in, I, can't, I wouldn't even start to think about giving this committee any sort of direction. That letter is there. That is, that is a very important document. If that sets that out, going back to knowing what, how they can conduct themselves, surely that should be the present, but across the board. That gives the, the small guy, again, I'm no, by no stretch of comments, that gives the small guy a chance to get out there so he can go on and create. If you're going to get an economy that goes, you've got, you, there are lots and lots of good people, really good people, trapped still this time on. And you've got that, 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 that footprint, if you like, on the head of the minute. So it, and I say I implore the committee to take that up with service. Is that a general rule? They'll say no, but it should be. Well, can I just finish, Chairman? You can take it from me that, as far as I'm concerned, this committee, and I think uh, I, I will need to speak for the Chair, but I certainly speak for, for all the members, if not the majority, that we do stand with the, the small mm -hmm. uh, business owner, uh, the farmer, those who are in, in distressed in debt, yep. working their way through it, who want to honour their debts. 
who need a way out, uh, mm. and we would like to see those people back on their feet contributing to the economy. And when it comes to a choice between a vulture fund like Cerberus, which has no rules as far as I can see, and the small people we represent, I want to stand with the small people. Chair, I would suggest that you may have better luck than us, because Cerberus won't talk to us. Right. So much respect for, for, uh, for, for the elected representatives of this, this benighted right. part of the world. They won't speak to us, but perhaps the Chair has a more uh, enticing invitation. That, but certainly, service need to answer some of these allegations, Chair. But, but thank you for being a public service. By <clears throat> I was going to come to that just in 